rolling with Dan, I'm bro. Yo, what's good YouTube, it's Christian. I'm back with my mom again for another reaction video. And like three days ago, NBA Youngboy released a new music video to a song called How I Been. And this song already has like three something million views in only a few days, so I can tell it's gonna be good. It's called How I Been, so I'm pretty sure it's, he's gonna be talking about how he's been and all that, because on Twitter, he's always talking about how he's depressed and like how no one actually loves him and like and all, all that kind of stuff. Just cause you're, just cause, Say, say I'm rich, just because I'm rich doesn't mean I get love. Like, the love I want to feel. Like, obviously, you're going to get love from fans and all this stuff, but, like, he wants, like, like a girl or, like, a soulmate to actually love him how he needs to be loved. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, this is called How I Been. I don't know if he's going to talk about all that stuff in this song, but that's what we're here to find out. <laughs> He is sad. Say you love me, but you can't. The shit you do for me for another nigga, you do the same. I can hold on. Everything just leads back to relationships at the end of the day. Like, <laughs> just everything, just like how, just like your sadness and all that stuff could just, it just leads back to relationships. I know a lot of my friends that are actually sad because of uh, love. It happens. And it sucks. And so apparently NBA Youngboy is experiencing that too because a lot of the people that probably come in his life are for the clout and for the money. Then that's the sad reality of it. That's why a lot of people are scared to get, I guess, fame. They're not scared to get famous, but they're, they know what to expect and this is what happens to them. And he's wishing best on the girls too. Like, I wish, like, he treats you better than I did or like I did or something like that. Well, let's get both sides of the story. Like, what happened, guys? But what if, what if he what if he is the reason why like they're all leaving and stuff like you said? That's what I'm saying. But like she said to every story. Cause he I'm not saying he loved all the girls that he had kids with, but he does have like five, four or five kids. So he's well, obviously he was obviously in love with one of them. Yeah, with one of them. And there's been girls that got his name tatted. There's everything like that. And I don't know if he's does something to them or they're he just realizes they're not in it for like actual love they're in it for the money and all that stuff i don't know a lot of people a lot of people shouldn't be in relationships yeah yeah like right. unless you're completely healed from your traumas or whatever the fuck you're going through yeah. you're not gonna like this sh it's gonna you're gonna keep attracting toxic people and then the two toxic people and it's just a big, it's a fucking mess like it's not hard for him to find girls either obviously <clears throat> he's gonna be a young boy so he's it's, yeah, but he's it's just hard like, to find someone to connect with. Yeah, he's just at that trial and error stage right now, basically. That shit don't end either until you get your shit together. Yep. You could be my age and still doing that shit. He said he sounds like he, like he wants to be chased. You heard that? He said you're gonna raid me and like the cops and something, you're gonna chase me. I don't know. There's some people that like to be chased and there's some people that like to chase. I just don't do that. <laughs> no, but that's just reality. That's how it is. I don't know. 
Don't chase nobody. Don't chase, yeah, don't chase nobody. Don't chase it's not gonna work out at the end because they're gonna be used to you chasing them, so they're gonna, I mean, they're gonna be like, they're gonna like it. If someone's interested, back, you won't have, you to, don't chase have to chase them. Exactly. Fuck. I want to count money. That money right there is more money than I ever had in my life and it's in his bathroom mom it's in his bathroom yeah. And he was holding it in one arm. That's more money than I've ever had in my life. That's so crazy. Like at one time. Yeah, that's that's so crazy to me. Like and some people got it like that. See, right now, like I want the money and all that, and but he got the money, but now all he wants is love. So that's that's the complications of being in the industry and entertainment industry, because you can get money, but it's hard to get love because you're not going to be able to find someone that doesn't like. Or then you got the people that have the love and then get famous and fuck it up because they want to be hope yeah i mean unless like you guys have an understanding and mm -hmm. everybody's cool with that don't do that very true <laughs> That's a lot of money, dude. A lot. Oh, no way, Diamond Teeth, huh? Well, that was how I've been. And like I said, even like, he's been on some Twitter stuff lately where he's just been talking about how he's not loved. And... Yeah. But there's also two sides to every story, so he we're only getting told his side. And his side is gonna be the more powerful side just because of all his fans and like his, what, how do you, what do you call his audience? His audience is obviously like super, super bigger than the girls' audience. So no matter what they say, everyone's still gonna be on NBA Youngboy side. Literally, that's that's how it is. Even though it sucks, but that's that's just how it is. That's also like another thing of like getting big. He has power. He has a lot of power. I don't know if he's thinking about releasing it. Well, yeah, he's gonna release probably a lot of more albums because he only like 20 or something like that, 21. That's crazy. He's only, he's released so much music and he's only like, he's only my age or younger than me too. It's just so crazy because this dude, the passion this dude has. Been around forever. Like he, the thing is about him, like he has it, but he still works for more. He has, he has it good. He's successful and all that. He's one of the biggest out right now. But he still puts out music and he and like he's trying to grind to be on top. You get me? Because because a lot of like nineteen kids, he got to take care of them. <laughs> a lot of people when they uh when they get big, even a lot of people that don't aren't even big, they just don't really take it that serious and like like this is actually his hobby and his passion. I feel like. Which is good. Comment down below what you guys want us to react to next. Subscribe if you're new. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Sorry, girl, I got a ghost.